So uh, this is to show how to use Proxmox to quickly generate a number of um, Synology virtual machines in my favorite um, virtualization solution Proxmox. I've prepared uh, everything according to the many guides that you find on the internet. Uh, I've downloaded the Cineboot um, 103 image to my uh, Proxmox host. This is um, this I'm going to rename to uh, a more telling um, file that is having individual um, that is having individual serial numbers and MAC addresses here. And yeah, let's get started. As this is a basically a drive image, um, and we want to make changes within it, namely to the grub bootloader, we need to first of all mount this image. And um, from uh, resources on the internet, I found that um, this command will identify the first uh, block to where to mount the ISO from, where, so where to mount this image from. So let's run and see what it says. What's the first block? It is 2048. So the next step is to create um, the command to mount this particular um, section of that disk image. I'm mounting it here to mount host run, but any other location will do. So I've named this 205 because I want to use 205 as a MAC address as well as as uh, a Proxmox ID for the virtual machine. I've now hopefully you've seen, um, correctly mounted it. The next step is to go into the location where we've mounted this file and. Um, make the necessary changes to this file. So we are seeing the mount seems to have been successful because we do see all the contents that we would expect in this file. We scroll down uh, to the section where we find the MAC address and the serial number. There is a website on the internet where you can create um, random serial numbers for this device. Here you can see the web, uh, web page in question. Don't worry, all the resources and commands will be in the comments below. So we click on Generate. And it will give us a random new serial number, which we can subsequently use in the party session. Back in the party session, we can enter edit mode, um, go to the set serial number area, I'm pressing X in order to remove the existing um, serial number, press A uh, to append behind this, paste the serial number with the right hand mouse button, and press escape to leave edit mode, go down to the MAC address, I'm now pressing uh, R in order to change this MAC address, which you can seemingly randomly choose. I am changing that to 205 because that's the ID that I wanted to give to this particular container, well in this case the MAC address, but I would like them to be consistent across my whole system, as in use it as MAC address, IP address, and maybe uh, as um, uh, container ID as well, or virtual machine ID. So I'm now pressing escape colon WQ to exit out of the editor and write the file. For best practices I'm now unmounting the, the mounted directory. 
although I found this, I've done this multiple times and it doesn't strictly seem to be necessary. I'm now writing the 205 version to my virtual machine 205. That is, before I can write it to a 205 container, I should create a new virtual machine that can actually um, make use of this, this particular disk image. 